Hey, what's up YouTubers? This is Lawrence, and today we are going to take a look at what is hopefully the best power bank for 2020, the YTYCH power bank. I found this on Amazon for only $37. It is not only better spec than comparable power banks such as the Goal Zero Sherpa 100PD, but it's also one-fifth the price. According to their Amazon listing, the specs are 100 watt hour capacity, 65 watt USB-C input and output, the big one, 120 watt manual USB-C output with variable voltage for the included USB-C to DC adapter, 10 watts wireless charger, two 18 watt USB-A ports, and a 12 month warranty. So today we're gonna take a look at this device and we're gonna see if these specs are true and if they are, it's definitely the best buy for 2020. Okay, so right out of the box, it comes with about 25% battery life and I'm using this voltage checker to see if the input is correct. I currently have an Anker 60 watt USB-C power charger. And as you can see, it's putting at about 20 volts, almost 19.5 volts times 3.1 amps. And it's charging at 60 watts exactly. So that first information is accurate. It charges at about, I'm gonna assume it was correct, 65 watts. This is the most important thing for me is, is a quick charge time. A lot of the anchors out there will say 60 watts output, but it's actually only 30 watts input. I'm looking for at least 60 watt input to charge the battery so I can have less downtime using my devices. One great feature I noticed about this charger is if you're charging it at night and you just want to turn off that annoying LCD screen, you can just click the power button right here. And there you go. It's the Amazon listing doesn't mention anything about pass through charging. I just wanted to see if it was possible. So I'm currently charging the power bank with my Sherpa 100 AC and I have two devices running off of the USB-A ports and a wireless device. So it is possible to charge and discharge at the same time using the USB-C port. My next test is to check the maximum output. I currently have 60 watts, 58 watts charging the Sherpa 100 AC right now coming from the power bank. I'm also char wirelessly charging the Pixel 4 and I have two USB-A devices running all at the same time. So I'm powering four devices at once currently. That receives a pass in my book. And the main reason I bought this charger is because it has a claimed USB-C to DC variable voltage output adapter. So I wanted to play with this feature and it's very interesting because the only thing I've seen this on is the Omni Ultimate which is $400 which is basically 11 times the price of this device. So let's play with it right now. I'm going to first check the voltage of what it's claiming by plugging it in my voltage adapter. And then it automatically recognizes that it's using the DC adapter. It's showing the battery percentage here and the output here. So in order to increase the voltage output, I'm going to double press the side button until the V is flashing and I'm going to press it up one at a time. So you can see it's at six volts, press it again, seven volts, eight volts, nine volts, 10 volts. And the great thing is my meter is reading the same voltage output right now. So every time I do press it up higher, my meter is reading the exact same thing. And this is important because if the voltage was off, I could potentially damage some expensive electronics by using a voltage that's too high for it. Okay, now I'm going to use the USB-C to DC adapter to charge my laptop. And my adapter says it charges at 19.5 volts, so I'm gonna set it to 19. I use this appropriate selector tip, and I'm going to plug it in. And let's see if it charges. There we go. It's currently charging. And this is great because it basically, I don't have to carry around the adapter with my Sherpa 100 AC. Um, old laptops can use this. Most laptops have gone over to USB-C, but people that work in the field like me, they're able to use this device and charge their old work laptops. And that's it for my review, guys. Um, at $37, this thing is a beast. It has features that rival the Omni Ultimate, which is $400 at over you know 11 to 12 times the price and uh, although this brand is unknown ytych never heard of that 
I bet you there's lots of factories in China making the exact same thing under different names. And if they're all going to sell in the future for $20 to $30, this is what we guys should be buying. You shouldn't be buying the name brand stuff like Anchor and Rav Power. Um, this is the absolute best power charger on the market right now, especially for the price. I highly recommend it. And this review isn't sponsored in any way. I buy these devices on my own. I like to charge them. I like to test them. I like to play with them. I hope you enjoyed today's video and please consider subscribing to my channel.